keep drinking the fluoride water, take all the vaccines, drink out of the bisphenol A plastic, just trust government, do whatever it says. The evil's growing, it's coming. What you asked for is now at the door, scratching. So open the door and prepare to meet your destiny because you're cowards. Don't worry, everything you want will now be released upon you. All the soft kill, all the pain, the reactors blowing up, the fires, the earthquakes, the wars, the death, the pain, the humiliation. You want the abortions? You want the end of men? You want the end of families? All of it will now be yours. All of it. All of it's yours now. Hell is coming. Enjoy it. And you do what you're told by scumbag government owned by foreign banks. I mean, these are kook, cult, demons, hardcore evil. I mean, these people are flaming scum, wild, crazy, dangerous people, just like the Nazis, the Soviets, all of them. Pol Pot killing 31% of Cambodia, murdering anybody that could read or write or wear glasses. You're like, why'd he do that? Because he's a flaming loon. They like it. They like black uniforms and torturing children. They do it all over the world. I see it all around me. It's clear as day. History is clear. Common sense is clear. The judgment of the West is here. The judgment of the world is here. It's only going to intensify. Do you have any idea how much danger we're in? Do you have any historical idea? Uh, this is the most sickening tyranny I've ever studied that we're living in, and it's just getting rolling. It's just getting started. Do you know where this road leads? Do you have any idea of the humiliation, the pain, the war, the revolutions? And when they start trying to round people up, folks are going to break and not care anymore, and hell is going to be released. Do you understand how desperate this is, how real this is? It's 100% it happened. We were right again. Oh, my gosh, so trendy. Uh, uh, uh. And we're going to get cunny, going to get cunny. And you can tell they're government operatives. They've got, like, evil in their eyes, you know, hardcore. I mean, their real spirit is, ah, 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 murder Africa, ah, invasion force, ah, release us, ah. But on the surface, uh, 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 and, 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 and just cutting this room full of, you know, the trendies all swarming around like piranhas. Uh, 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 war, trendy, invade, uh, help the children, uh, uh. And, I mean, and I'm like, uh, and I started watching more of their videos, and it gets worse. I mean, <laughs> I'm not joking, folks. There's, <laughs> I mean... And everyone's wearing like pink and little green, non-threatening, you know, colors. All, uh, uh, and they're all walking around bending their wrists going, uh, 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 uh. I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm going, uh, uh, liberal. And Angelina Jolie going, uh, children. And uh, this is what we face. <laughs> it's trendy liberal, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> and I'm sick of it. And I'm calling you out, scum. <sighs> Magellan's a lot cooler than Justin Bieber. He circumnavigated with one ship the entire planet. He was killed by wild natives before they got back to Portugal. And when they got back, there was only like 11 people alive of the 200 and something crew. And the entire ship was rotting down to the waterline. That's destiny. That's will. That's striving. That's being a trailblazer and explore. Going into space. Mathematics. Quantum mechanics, the secrets of the universe, it's all there. Life is fiery with its beauty, its incredible detail. Tuning into it, they want to shut your mind, talking about Justin Bieber! It's pure evil! They're taking your intellect, your soul, and giving you Michael Jordan and Bieber. Unlock your human potential! Defeat the globalists who want to shut your mind, your doorways to perception. I want to see you truly live. I want to see you truly be who you are. Ah! You know what it's like to go to sleep every night knowing you work for a bunch of psychotic killers and you bastards are probably going to end up killing me one day? You know what it's like knowing you've ruined my life? You know what it's like? You sons of bitches! I'm tired of your crap! 
You commit evil, you're part of an evil system, and we're standing up against you. And the republic is going to defeat you in the end. Some of us won't make it personally through this, but a lot of us are. And in the end, you are going to be brought to justice for all the kids you kidnapped for CPS, all you CPS workers, all you corrupt bureaucrats, all you that have had your way with innocent children over and over again and who think your evil's invincible. You're not invincible, and God is going to deal with you. And you are cursed to hell telling me how I'm their slave. No, you little piece of trash. I'm not your slave. I'm red-blooded. I got a big heart pumping blood. I'm strong. My ancestors were strong. And we're going to rouse and rise free humanity to identify who you are. And as you wage war against us, 1776 will commence again. And I openly rebuke you. I openly call you out before God and everyone else. And I pray that the masses fully break their conditioning and the spell they're under and recognize you for what you are, a 21st century green Hitler calling for global domination through a corporate creeping structure that strangles free humanity by the millions that have died from radiation poisoning. Poor little decent, sweet three, four, five, six-year-olds with that life of life and humanity dimming, their teeth falling out, vomiting, dying of cancers, never getting to grow old, never getting to have children and love and passion and grandchildren and all the good things they had because you people had to kill them. You people had to suck the life out of them for your stinking satanic egos. I declare eternal war against you. All of my humanity, all of the strength of my ancestors, all of the strength that God gives me, we will defeat you. Humanity will not let you prevail. You will not keep humanity from its destiny to populate the stars and become what God envisions for us. You will fail. You have failed from the foundations of the creation of Earth. And you know it. Laugh all you want, but in your gut, in your soul, in the remnants that are left of it, you giggle that mirth-filled lie, that acid-spilling stench, because you can feel the mouth of hell, that maw opening. You aren't on the winning team, moron. You're idiot scum. You're weak. Someone who's strong wants to build up humanity. Someone who's strong wants to defend the weak, not chew their guts out. But you'd never know that because you're soulless and you're turned over to wickedness. And the only satisfaction I have is to know that you're going to be caught in your own trap. You're going to fall into your own pit. Cowardly trash. could break your neck. I could sever your head with my two hands. You scum. Ah! Ah! We know we're under attack. We know it. We're breaking the conditioning. Ah! Ah! We're coming for you, globalist. Ah! Coming for you. Coming for you. We know what you're doing. She showed me. She is God. She is master. She is the Soviet. She is the East German. She is the scum. She is the armies of weak, pot trash that now run this country. I recognize you for what you are, you filthy trash. And I am here to energize the human spirit and light that fire that will burn your system into a pile of black slag. It's diabetes doubled the last 10 years. Cancer doubled. Children walking around with their bald heads dying of cancer all around me. Why? This is a normal response to them. Break your conditioning. Be a human. You will be defeated. I will it. And millions of others will your downfall. It's about this crook government teaching us we have to lay under them and put up with all their all their garbage and suck their boots whenever they say and as they suck off on us with our with their taxes and all their regulations and all their all their bugging their eyes out at us and cops strutting around everywhere trying to intimidate the public. This isn't what a free country looks like. It's what a rat infested third world cesspit looks like. You guys aren't protecting America. You're helping deep six it for the traitor bankers that have taken over this country. And I'm sick of you, and I want you out! Man, I'm getting angry. I've got all their documents, all their statements. I'm watching them carry it out right on time. I know I'm 100% right. I wish I wasn't right. I want to turn this around before it's too late. I just want to... That lady. I mean, she is a bucket of maggot evil. She is a pit demon of hell itself.
I have had it with you, and I swear one thing on the eternal altar to God. We're going to bring you to justice, no matter what it takes, filth. I can't handle the stuff I've seen. I can't handle these people knowing nobody's stopping them. They just go on and on and on and on and on committing their evil. And you just look like an absolute clown freak that works for murdering terrorists that jack our food and water. I think you're a big joke. That's what I think you are, murdering scum. And those of you that serve the system are murdering scum. All of you, you are all aid and abet murdering scum that says they'll secretly arrest citizens in army bases all over the world, raping children with battery acid, army own report. You support raping children with battery acid, with giant objects. That's in the Army report. If you don't speak out against it, if you don't go out against it, if you don't stand up against it, you support it. You support it. You support it. You are now child killers, child torturers. You are now aiding and abetting it. You are literally going to hell in a handbasket. Repent now. Repent now. I know your mustache is cool. You got little gold frame glasses. You scare me so bad. You scare me. You scum. Scum. Oh, it makes me sick, and I'm going to have to watch them when they blow up some federal buildings, prance around the very murderers as my savior, and all the cowards out there begging the government to give them proctology exams on the side of the highway. That it's one of those cops in a black uniform with a mustache. You know that guy's a coward. You know he's a piece of garbage. You know he's weak. Oh, he'd love it. That's the, those are the type of people that go to the cops in Oklahoma and say, we'll kill your wives if you expose we did this. As long as you got a mustache, it's okay. This is all real and live. I'm red blooded, not hate murderers. <sighs> all right. Uh, ah! Sure. Sure. What's that word? Sean and Maine. Shane! I'm sick of it. Murdering terrorists are everywhere. I want them out of my life. It's a bunch of lawless scum. Dying Corps and Halliburton have been caught running child kidnapping rings. Uh, and I got to watch people in little black uniforms with little machine guns uh, trying to intimidate us, uh, uh, telling me how they're doing it to keep me safe. Bull, pal, your boss has carried out 9-11. Your boss has carried out Oklahoma City. And I see you. I see through it. I know what's going on. And I've had enough. I've had enough of all of it. I've had enough of it. And I'm sick of it. I want people to wake up right now. I want people to listen to me and just come out of your trance. It's normal when you wake up with a bunch of crazy terrorists, jacking the food and water, running everything, and telling me I'm the terrorist because I know they're the terrorist. I mean, come on. It's too ridiculous. Groping Miss USA. Go. I mean, come on. It's not America. It's not the Soviet Union. North Korea isn't this bad in many levels. And you're like, well, we still got free speech. We still got this and that. Bullshit. Go to hell make me sick. No, you can't, scum. Shove it in the pipe and shove it in there good and smoke it. Developed by the Pentagon to kill you and your family. Charge. Charge. The Dawson police chiefs asked me out for dinner to drink a beer. I don't have time to do it. I'm too busy looking at photos of one-year-old babies they're killing in China. I'm too busy breaking reports how the U.S. government plans to start killing kids up to age three. Why don't you investigate some real crime? You got it? I got your number. I see right into you. Do you understand? You're going to learn who we are. You're going to learn to submit. The foreign bankers have given us unlimited power, and we're going to rule you. This is our country. Ah, you're here. We're going to feed on your ass. And the cops just drink fluoride water. Oh, they take their kids and just shoot them up with mercury and the kids become autistic the cops don't care they're i'm going to the tech bar i don't care if my kids brain damage and they drink whiskey and wreck and kill everybody in austin and then when they wreck and kill themselves the cops then go and swat team the bar owners that sold them too much whiskey it's your fault you sold too much whiskey to a god you don't sell too much whiskey to a god we're god you understand we rule america we'll shoot you in the face We'll bloody your face and we'll laugh about it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel okay. Castro took the guns. Nominee. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? And that's why you're going to fail and the establishment knows no matter how much propaganda, the republic will rise again when you attempt to take our guns. Oh yeah, the crazy man. And I've just got all the documents. All the admissions.
missions. I, I mean, they, they just they, they've got an artificially intelligent. The Russians have got one. The West has them looking at us through our computers, through our TVs, tracking everything we're doing. CNN now admits your TV is physically watching you, not just watching everything you do and tracking it. And there's a giant kill grid, and I can't get people upset about it. What the hell? I don't want to be. And then there's all these egomaniacs and crazy media people that just want to be on TV and be famous. Don't you get it, you jackasses? There ain't any damn future if we don't beat this son of a bitch. I can't keep doing this radio show and sitting up here and reporting all these reams of crap. I don't even want to be competitive with people. I don't even want to be up here challenging other media people. I look at the egomaniacs just dripping narcissism. When I watch Fox News or CNN, all of them feel like they've arrived and they're all on a power trip because they're in some studio on TV. I mean, who cares? None of it matters. It's all make-believe while the globalists set up the end, while the globalists set up the demise of our society and our civilization. We've been cut out of the future. The globalists have decided to radically re-engineer everything. And every time I talk to a professor or a zoologist specialist in viruses and all these people I know and run into, they go, well, Alex, the public is dumb and ugly and they deserve to die. And I go, don't you get that you're not in the winning club? Well, yeah, that's why I live in Wimberley and hide out. I know. Well, then why aren't you doing something about it? Just because you know about what's going on doesn't mean it gives you power over it. All you idiot yuppies send me emails and I see comments making jokes about this. You people are idiots. I would like to literally punch your eyes out if you said that to my face. I got a family. I got three children. Just because you're uninformed and think everything's a joke doesn't mean the rest of us have to go to hell with you. These people follow a 4,000-year-old Egyptian death cult, okay? That's who's running things, wallowing in feces. That's what we're dealing with, ladies and gentlemen. A secretary of state that has had sex in giant vats of feces. They believe entities possess them in pits of feces. I mean, we have a, 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 a secretary of state who has asked entities to enter his body while having sex in large vats of feces with men peeing on him. And how much more will we put up with these people? Thank God I'm among the living. Thank God I love life. Thank God I've got red blood and gusto and honor and courage and love of life and innocence. Man, it feels good to be on the side of good. <laughs> I do not want to be a part of evil. Evil ain't cool and evil ain't fun. And, and, and the path of evil lives in the heart of all of those that serve evil. Evil isn't good for you, bitches. I just get so upset, so upset. There's missing nuclear weapons. I'm sick of it. Bunch of crazy people. I mean, you take one look at Obama and all those narcissists. You take one look at those shallow scum at that committee hearing. They are a bunch of people on power trips. And they need to be stopped. They are a menace. They are a menace. A menace. Save his bacon? How about save our bacon? What is your problem out there, people? You've lived so long under freedom, you don't appreciate anything. I'm talking to people that support the New World Order. You're morons. The New World Order is the biggest fraud to ever hit this planet. The New World Order is the... Look at everything they do. They're a bunch of bad people. <laughs> You'll never see that kid again. <laughs> I mean, just the most satanic, murdering scums. I realized I'm a slave, I'm a piece of filth, I'm dominated by criminals, and they're gonna take kids, and they're gonna do whatever they want to them, and I'm gonna let them do it, because they got badges and guns, and they're God, and that's the end of it. They're gonna take our guns, our children, our land, our money, our freedom, our future, our health, and we're gonna let them do it, because that's what we are. They're gonna murder that kid if we don't do something about it. I don't wanna beat somebody's ass right now. You wanna get right down to the bottom line, I am sick of all this crap. I am sick of all the bullies and all the scum. I want this covered tomorrow night. I want GMOs covered. I want what's going on covered. I want to fight these son of a bitches. I don't want to have half measures. I don't want to die and have them win. I'm sick of their crap. And I don't know how to totally beat them, but first, like Howard Beale says in Network, you've got to get mad. You've got to get angry. You've got to find your humanity. And you've got to start kicking some New World Order ass in the info war before this thing gets physical. These people are your enemy. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. And you either wake up to that that our government's pure evil funding al-Qaeda to murder Christians worldwide, running them, 
or you kneel to this system because you think it's popular and you just kind of go along with it and have a drink on the New World Order and just sit back and drink beer and watch football. That's too depressing, man. I choose to think everything's good. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you, hell would be locked up with a bunch of guys like that. Hell would be locked up with people like that that just put up with all this stuff. You guys aren't men. You are the equivalent of 12-year-olds of who watched Madison Avenue programming and were taught you weren't cool. So your whole life, you do whatever the system says, trying to be cool, trying to get acceptance, trying to be part of the system. There is no system. There's an artificial construct that they're trying to insert us into. And before it's completed, we have to sabotage it immediately any way we can. What you hear and my disgust with these people is the primal survival instinct to get them off of us. To get them off of us. That's what you're hearing. And that's what you need to have. You need to have that spirit. Get off me. Get off me. Get up and start just breaking arms, man. you got to set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. You're the enemy. You're the scum. You're the filth. You're the murderers. You're going down. We're never stopping. Hell or high water, we're going over the top, and you're never going to stop us. Do you understand that? That's what I'm talking about. And that's what they're scared of is that spirit.